Oh, hooked up. Something just hammered that. How's it going today, guys? Catch release fishing. I'm down here at the Hocking River. The fall bite is approaching. It's 67 degrees. So I'm gonna be walking through the Hocking River doing kind of like a wade. All you really need is your mug boots up to like your knees and you can pretty much walk the entire stretch down here in Athens. So we're gonna hopefully get into some deeper holes where the fish are concentrated, the water's cooler, the bite's heating up. I'm gonna throw some chatter baits, Ned rigs, just do some finesse fishing in these deeper holes and see if we can't catch no big ones, guys. Stay tuned for the action. Let's go. Alrighty, before we get started, we'll do a quick gear check. This is my seven foot medium fast action rod. I got 15 pound Power Pro braid, running it to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And the first thing we're gonna try out down here is a Ned rig. This is the green pumpkin orange um, worm, turd worm. And this is matched with a 10 ounce jig head. So we'll be targeting uh, structure. We'll be throwing this in deeper holes. See if we can't catch some fish. Spotted bass absolutely crush it. Smallmouth bass as well. Even freshwater drum too. So let's go give this a shot first. Come up on a nice bank right here. We got a lot of bait fish in front of us. So it's always a good sign. Watch a little bass. Oh, he's going for it. Took it. <laughs> A large mouth looks like, yeah. Right there on the green pumpkin orange, Ned. I seen him prowling the banks right here, chasing these minnows, giving them a hard time. There you go, buddy. That's a good start. All right, so what I'm doing with this Ned rig as I'm casting out in these deeper holes, taking a really finesse approach. I'm letting it sink to the bottom, keep my line tight. As soon as I feel that tick on the bottom, I just start slowly retrieving. And that's just bringing that Ned, that Ned worm right over those rocks, natural presentation, just really slow. That's pretty much how I'm getting all my bites down here. I don't really jerk it too much I don't kind of thrash it through there, just kind of take it nice and slow. And you'll feel when those fish hit it, it'll be a nice little thump when they inhale it. What's up? Another largey. Nice. A little bit bigger than that last one. There you go, buddy. Hooked up. I got something different this time. Oh. Check that out on the Ned rig. That's awesome. He hammered that thing. Looks like a little white bass. I don't catch a lot of these down here on the Hawking, but that's pretty sweet. The white bass has got that one pinstripe that goes all the way through the body. And the rest of them kind of like fade out down the side of his body, if you can tell. Pretty sweet catch. On the Ned, too. Ooh. Hooked up. Ooh. <laughs> nice, Molly. Come here, buddy. There we go. Come here. Heck yes. Look at that. 
as a nice 12 and a half, 13 inch probably. Chunker. They're putting on the weight. Green pumpkin orange. It's an awesome natural color for this river. Dang, that's a little chunker, man. He probably weighs almost a pound, and if not, if if not a pound, look at that belly. There we go. Pick up again. It's another species. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I'm crushing the species. We've got almost all the bass, literally almost all the bass species you can catch in here. It's a little one, but it's a little spotted bass. See his pinstripes down the line, or down the side of the body. His upper mandible doesn't go past his eye. It's a little one, but it's a new species. Here you go, buddy. All right, guys, we caught four different bass species right here behind me in this little stretch. But I only have a few hours down here, so I want to hit another deeper hole that I know of. See if we can't mix it up and get some more species. I know there's some sauger, sawgai, walleye, freshwater drum that we could possibly catch today. So we're gonna leave this spot and go to the next one, and I'll see you there. Let's go. The size of that spider. Jeez. I think that's an orb weaver. I think. Comment down below if you know what species that is. All right, we're at spot number two. I'm gonna keep throwing this uh, green orange pumpkin. Ned rig on the 10th ounce. It's caught me four species so far. The white bass, spotted bass, smallmouth, and largemouth today. So it's crushing it. I'm not going to change. I'll fish for it for another half hour or so. I don't have much longer. Let's go see if we can't get some fish out of the second hole. Hooked up. Ooh, we got a nice fish. Nice spot, nice spot. Let's go! Oh, wow. That is a toad of a spotted bass for the hawking. Check that out. It's a beast. Fish high is 15 inches, but I know he's not close to that. But still, man, that's a quality spotted bass here. In the Hawking River, right there on the Ned, came out from under those trees over there. Beautiful fish, man. There you go, buddy. Heck yeah, what a fight! Alrighty, I'm gonna hop to another spot. There, want to fish? There's a bunch of shad swimming right here, and they're jumping out of the water, getting me all excited. But uh, we're gonna move out of this spot. I fished here for about half hour, 45 minutes. Caught that really nice spotted bass right there on the. TRD, green orange pumpkin, green pumpkin orange, whatever you want to call it. But I caught, it, caught him, it was really nice fish. It's probably my PB um, spotted bass out of this stretch, out of the Hawking River, honestly. Probably my PB ever spotted bass. So that's pretty awesome catch. We're gonna get out of here and go hit up White's Bill. I know that spot's been getting hit a lot lately, but we're gonna go down there and throw some jerk baits, see if we can't catch a big hybrid or something, and finish the bass challenge catch every bass in the hawking every species let's go all right we made it down here at white's mill i got about an hour to fish we're gonna throw some jerk baits maybe even some crank baits see if i can't pull another fish out of here before i finish up for today all righty the jerk bait i'm gonna be throwing is a little lucky craft pointer this is a slow sinking jerk bait i think it's four inches it's got a nice shiny pattern to it this water down here is kind of staying compared to downstream where we were where we were earlier so hopefully it stands out and gets a bite. Oh, hooked up. Something just hammered that. What do we got here? Something, oh my goodness. We just got destroyed. What is this? It's a monster, guys. It is a river monster. What in the world? 
Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's a huge hybrid. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. Yes! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Oh, he just drenched me. Look at that fish. My GoPro is soaked. Oh my goodness. Second cast in there with that jerk bait. Chill, bub. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Oh, this might be my PB hybrid. I'm shaking right now, guys. Look at this beast. Oh my gosh. This thing is a monster. I cannot believe this fish right now. Look at that. That is an absolute beast of a hybrid. That completes the bass challenge, actually. This is what I wanted to come catch. Oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta get a measurement on this one. 23 and a half inches. 23 and a half inch hybrid striped bass guys here in the Hawking River. Isn't that incredible? This is a five pound fish, no problem. Look at that fish. All right, buddy. Awesome fight, man. Destroyed that jerk bait. Let's get a release on this big, big old fish. Look at the size of that thing. Let's go! Wow, that's gonna bring an end to the video today on an epic fish, king of the hawking, the hybrid striped bass. He was over 23 and a half inches. I didn't even get the pinches telling he was at 23 and a half, so he's probably 24, just under 24. But what an epic fight, man. Those things are absolutely beast, straight beast. Right there on the uh, little Lucky Craft jerk bait, I was throwing it in that little pool and I just twitched it once and just let it sit there. Kept my line tight and he just hammered that thing. Fish on. I caught every species of bass you can today in the Hawking River. I caught, what, hybrid striped bass, white bass, spotted bass, smallmouth, and largemouth. All five species in the Hawking River today. The fall bite is heating up, guys, so get out here, get fishing. If you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!